These are the three most common reasons why your calibration failed. The first one is the most, the very most important one, and that is that you have to unplug the power cord from the back of the control box before any calibration attempt. So we unplug it, we reinsert it again, and then we press the on button and the right encoder knob for a new calibration attempt. If you don't do that, the calibration won't be rewritten properly, so please take that into account before any calibration attempt. The next one is the time you are pressing one octave. So when you hear the first tone, ding, you press it directly, you hold it until almost the next tone comes, and then you go on to the next one. So if you only do it briefly, then the installation can fail. The third reason why your calibration can fail is that you didn't put the stickers in the right location. And I have an example over here. We put it here over there, and that's in the middle of the sensor bar. So the sensor bar is around here. That is not how you should do it. And if you compare it to the key next to it, you see that it's way too far to the back. The sensors are on the front side, like on my side of the piano, on the bar, and the stickers should be right in the middle of the sensor LEDs. So really pay attention that you don't align it with the sensor bar, but with the sensor LED on the, this side of the sensor bar. And you can measure it out like in the manual, take the distance from here to there, from here to the sensor LED, and then you will be all good. Very important step. Those are the three most common reasons why your calibration would fail.